Hello everyone. Now, today we will be discussing about Rainy Angiotensin Aldosterone System, also known as the RAS. Since Rainy is an important hormone that is secreted by kidney, actually when you talk about the hormone that is secreted by kidney and the hormone that acts on the kidney, we will talk about that renin and renin erythropoietin vitamin D. These are the hormone that is secreted by kidney and the hormone that act on the kidney are CAAP cap, calcitonin, ADH, aldosterone, angiotensin 2 and parathormone hormone. So we will talk about it. Okay. So one of the hormone is renin and renin when it is secreted by the kidney then it forms an axis known as the renin angiotensin aldosterone renin angiotensin aldosterone system okay so let's begin how this work this system works normally when there is low BP when due to any reason if there is decrease in the drop in blood pressure <coughs> or if decrease in blood pressure then that blood pressure when you you see this this is the afferent arterial this is the efferent arterial when afferent arterial through when they comes in the afferent arterial, here is the your juxtaglomerular apparatus, and JG cells are in the afferent media of the. If you see the layer of the this afferent arterial, then media in intima and adventitia. In the median layer, there is the JG cell, and if there is decrease in blood pressure, then it will be sensed. This is the marrow receptor. It will sense by the JG cell, and then stimulate the this is of sublimitary apparatus for release of the renin okay next will be decrease in sodium delivery to the macula densa if you remember then here at the entry point entry point there is juxtaglomerular apparatus is composed of juxtaglomerular cell then macula densa so in macula densa is part of the distal conduit tube and at that point if sodium content is going low then it is a chemoreceptor it says sense that the sodium is coming low to it so it's uh, it's it uh, it's, it thinks that the, that uh, blood volume is decreased because of that low content of the GFR is coming to it because of that it also extremely this JG apparatus and help in the release of renin then another stimulus is sympathetic tone there is the beta 1 receptor in the JG cell this is extraglomerular apparatus and from beta 1 receptor you know that sympathetic system act by the beta and alpha receptors so by, by stimulating the beta 1 receptor your renin will be released so what are the conditions where renin will be released there are the three conditions number one is decrease in blood pressure that will be sensed by the viral receptor in the JG cell and helping the release of the renin there will be chemo receptor at the macula densa which sense the decreased sodium Contain delivered to it, then, they, then it also stimulates the renin secretion. And third is the sympathetic outflow, sympathetic system, sympathetic drive that acts through the beta 1 receptor and increase the renin release from your juxtaglomerular apparatus. After the renin is released, what you do? Main function is your BP has been come down, so renin will be released. Now, renin will convert a protein named as the angiotensinogen which is a protein synthesis from the liver that convert into angiotensin 1 this is the function of your renin when it get converted into angiotensin 1 this angiotensin 1 will convert it into the angiotensin 2 by an enzyme known as the angiotensin converting enzyme this is formed in the lung as well as in the kidney so from lung and kidney this enzyme now this protein is in the blood that is renin is also secreted in hormones so it is secreted in the blood that are converting into the angiotensin now that one this is circulating in the blood when it goes to the lung there is an enzyme known as the angiotensin converting enzyme even kidney has this angio angiotensin converting enzyme but major portion is from the lung so now angiotensin 1 will convert it into the angiotensin 2 now this is a potent factor that will cause the different function in your body number one function is since there is decrease in blood pressure it will act in the blood pressure in the blood pressure there is the angiotensin receptor that will 
in the bas in the vascular smooth muscle. So this angiotensin two act on the receptor, nanomize the type one receptor, constricts the vascular smooth muscle and increase increase the BP by increasing the peripheral resistance. You know the blood pressure is called to cardiac output and peripheral peripheral resistance. So we increase increase the total peripheral resistance and thereby increase the blood pressure. Then there will be another function when it has constricted the BP. There is another function that it will regulate your blood pressure is by absorbing the sodium from your kidney. Now in kidney there is a two place where angiotensin 2 will work. One is your proximal carotid tubule. If you remember in my previous lecture we have talked, have talked about that in proximal convoluted tubule there, there is a sodium hydrogen exchanger which was main function was to absorb the sodium secretion of the hydrogen and that hydrogen that hydrogen combined with the bicarbonate and form the carbonic acid by which car car bicarbonate is not absorbed but now carbonic acid is dissociated into carbon dioxide and water in the presence of carbonic anhydrase and then car carbon dioxide again diffused into the back in through the membrane into the cell where it again combined with the water form the carbonic acid and again dissociated into hydrogen and bicarbonate and bicarbonate will used to get absorbed so this process it helps in absorption of bicarbonate but the major function is it helps in the absorption of sodium as well so your angiotensin 2 is one increase the bp by vasoconstriction another increase bp by absorption of the sodium and water okay another place where it will increase is angiotensin 2 acts and the adrenal medulla adrenal cortex normally our adrenal gland which has had cortex and medulla in cortex there are three here that is a gfr zona glomerulosa zona fasciculota and zona reticularis from zona glomerulosa there is a release of mineralocorticoids hormone that is known as the aldosterone that is from the adrenal cortex now this aldosterone if you remember just previous lecture we have talked in the distal convoluted view aldosterone has many functions it was if you remember the principal color attribute there was sodium potassium exchanger then this receptor was from the aldosterone it was helping the absorption of sodium and excretion of potassium if you remember correctly and there was the another cell as well where it was ATPase that is alpha intercalated cell so this receptor this aldosterone aldosterone receptor was increasing the sodium potassium ATPase form thereby decrease the, decrease the sodium content in the principal cell helps in the increase of the sodium from the epithelial membrane luminal cell that is the epithelial sodium channel so there was absorption of sodium as well with excretion of potassium and excretion of hydrogen so your angiotensin 2 is increase your bp by constrict the blood pressure also causing increase in the bp or regular the blood pressure by increasing the sodium from your proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubule that is also important other function is it acts on the posterior pituitary where it helps in the secretion of the ads in the presence of ads in the collecting distal collecting tubules and of the absorption of water occur that is only in the presence of ads so increase the blood volume as well okay so we have talked about pct ads this function there is another function of this angiotensin 2 that is it constrict it constrict the efferent artery when you are when you talked about your glomerulus okay then there is blood pressure coming and going this efferent a for a arriving e for exit this efferent arterial constricted since efferent arterial is get constricted now pressure over this increases so pressure over this increases in the glomerulus so the gfr is increased filtration gfr increase filtration fraction is increased and maintaining the gfr so in case of low blood volume if there is low blood volume low urine has been your gfr has been made so what will do this angiotensin will be released and this angiotensin will constrict the different machine efferent arteries since efferent arteries is constricted now there is a back pressure in your glomerulus and since there is a back pressure has been increased you know about the net filtration pressure will increase and the gfr will be occur so gfr is maintained in case of hypovolemic or low volume state by this angiotensin 2 or in decrease renal plasma flow blood flow state angiotensin 2 maintain your gfr for your kidney that is one of the function now how we can use clinically even one if, if you remember i have told about the diabetic patient who's developed microalbuminuria diabetic nephropathy and microalbuminuria in this case if we inhibit this angiotensin 2 then this 
constriction will be actually diluted and if dilution, dilution will occur then there will be blood flow will be more and there will be less pressure if less pressure is maintained over here then albumin will less leak into the urine that is microalbuminuria will be prevented and that is the use of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor acei inhibitor converting angiotensin converting enzyme if you inhibit this will not convert it the angiotensin 1 into the active form angiotensin 2 and by which angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor will be useful in the diabetic nephropathy by using this physiology and application so we have talked about this also we have talked about vasoconstriction also also angiotensin will act on the hypothalamus and increase the thrust so we'll be intake more water and try to maintain our blood volume so more volume of blood uh, water will be intake so this is the mechanism of bringing angiotensin and restoral axis of system it is very important because there are a lot of function of angiotensin now if we know this physiology then we can block if suppose this is the hypovolemic state so we are measuring this is secreted in normally amount also if we have hypertension if you have increased blood pressure then we can inhibit this enzyme and let's not convert this angiotensin 1 into the active component and if it is not converted into the active component then blood pressure can be checked blood pressure can be lower down and by this way we can use this axis in a different way in a different drugs can be used to maintain to maintain your hypertension and use in the further processes so we'll use this renin angiotensin angio 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 restoration mechanism in several ways in the renal physiology in management of hypertension in management of heart remodeling there are other factors also where there will be use of it and we'll discuss in future as well okay thank you